Today is the 30th of August 2017. This is Messe Dusseldorf, it's caravan, salon and a great event held once a year at the last week of August and the beginning of September. This is the van V117CS from Challenger. It's a van which is 599 centimetres long, which is a, a good size if you want to make use of cheap affairs on ferries, which is sometimes the case, but being under six metres. Say cheap affairs from ferries are still charged more than the duple cars, but never mind. Right, as I come into the van, the first thing I notice is that the roof isn't particularly high. I feel it's only about 181 centimetres of clearance, if that. Now, because of the fact that people here are getting taller and taller, the beds have to be placed in this long-wise, lengthwise, I should say, direction. Now, here, what we appear to have is a, it can be in a, a width-wise if you want to sleep in that direction as well. And there's also a, a fill-in bit which goes in the middle down there. Of course, you mightn't want the bed to be in at all, so you just put it up to the sides during the day and put it down during the night. That way, it would allow you a bit of space down there to keep your bicycles or other stuff that you might be moving around with you. We've got a shower in the centre. Now, there's nowhere else to put the shower because it's a van conversion and the vehicle is not particularly wide. As you can see, it's on a Fiat. Coming into the shower, uh, we have immediately the fridge. It's a rather large fridge and, well, you probably know my opinion of fridges. I've got to say that the sink, however, is pretty deep and there's a two burner hob uh, cooker here as well. Now, you've got coming down here, trying to make the most of the space because the bed's down there longwise. You've got a, a cupboard here. Well, I should say that's uh, hanging space really, but you're not going to hang much in something that, that, uh, that short, that small. And you've got four um, uh, storage lockers on both sides in total. And you've got a small storage locker down there. And there's this locker over the kitchen. Up here, we've got a Truma iNet system. Now, this vehicle does have a winter package. Now, normally, sleeping in vehicles of this nature in winter is a little on the difficult side. Uh, because it does get somewhat cold. Here we've got a table and uh, okay you might think it's not a particularly big table but the bottom bit does come out and that'll give you an extra third or thereabouts. Is it worth putting an extra set of seats down there for a vehicle this small? My opinion would be that it's better just to have two seats uh, if, particularly if you need all the extra bed space. Of course it depends you might want to use the vehicle on a daily basis and this is what many manufacturers today push but in my opinion uh, well you have to decide what you're going to use it for so that'd be the number one thing to do there you go